Good morning guys. Welcome to the channel. Today I am going to show you guys this new wireless mic I got. It's from DJI and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So here's the DJI wireless mic and it comes with accessories which is nice like the two wind muffs usually you have to buy those separately if you get the Rode wireless microphones and you get the charger the USB to USB-C which you can also actually connect to the actual microphone to download the audio file if you are just podcasting because actually this mic you can use it by itself you don't necessarily have to connect it to your phone or your camera to be useful and um, I think this is called a 3.5 millimeter jack I might be wrong with the names but uh, this is what you connect to the GoPro if you're using GoPro this is what you connect to the GoPro mic adapter or the media mod and then this one connects to the receiver so that you can use this wireless mic for moto blogging or for blogging if you're not riding motorcycles so I'll show you guys. I'm actually using it right now. I am actually recording with my phone and I am using the DJI wireless mic as a microphone directly hooked up to my phone and I'm going to show you guys that setup as well. When you open it, you'll see that right now it's all full because this is actually also a charging case. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head the charging hours the charging times i think it's like they charge in like an hour and 90 minutes i might be wrong um this review is not gonna be very technical because there's so many of those already this is gonna be mostly focused on blogging or moto blogging once this opens it turns on which is nice and you can see that the batteries are all fully charged so a quick sidetrack the reason why i didn't get the road wireless and why i got the wireless mic instead because I've been using a wired mic for a long time and it really starts to become a pain when you are walking around in Costa Rica. We were everywhere and I was moving around with the camera and Kyle was with me and I'm talking. I'm the only one that has the microphone so you can barely hear his voice. Any US dollars for both of us? Not bad. 20 a piece, right? Uh, or it's just a mess. So. Having the wireless mic with dual microphones really works out when there's more than one person in the video. And uh, choosing the DJI wireless versus the Rode wireless, uh, I read reviews on both of them. And long story short, the DJI wireless was just way easier to use, way easier to pair because it automatically pairs compared to the Rode wireless it already has its own little charging case once you put it back together here they all charge and once you take it out i'm gonna take it out right now it turns on automatically i'll take out one microphone and i left it on for too long so it probably turned off but usually it's on right away but if it's not the power button's right there very easy to use and if you want to start recording you have to, first of all, if you're going to use, let's try cell phone first. I'll show you guys. If you want to use a cell phone to record, so right now I'm on the camera option. You don't have to use the 3.5 millimeter jack. If This is only if you're using uh, the GoPro. And I'll show you that as well. But right now I'm using my cell phone and uh what i'm using to record actually is a gopro with a media mod because i mean i only have one dji uh, package here so uh, in order to hopefully the audio is okay it's connected with the usb-c connector so this one's actually for an iphone is the usb-c and when you're ready you just press record this is this button here is to link I've never actually had to use it because it automatically is already linked and uh, I think to use it you just press and hold it if it somehow unlinks itself which has not happened to me yet 
and I've already been using it for a couple of days consistently. So I just press record and the red light turns on. That means it's recording and you can see it here because one mic is being used. If I want the other mic to be used, I must take it out like that. I think you have to press and hold if it's been off and then turn on the record here. And now you see two mics. It's super easy to use, that's why I like it. And the wind muff, it has a little screw thing here and you just literally push down on this thing and turn clockwise and it stays on it really well. I am not doing it because I am holding the camera <laughs> with my left hand, so I have no more hands. And you just start recording with your phone, that's it. This is, this is, a. Uh, the mics are on, this is on, you just start recording and there's no, once you want to transfer the video, the video already has the audio. You don't have to separately transfer files from the microphone. But if you want, you can. So it's a really, really nice. Ignore these little things. I put Velcro here, the other side of the Velcro, because uh, ignore the, the dogs are playing outside, so they're barking. So I put these little Velcro things here for a different purpose. It's to mount on inside my helmet and inside Kyle's helmet. And I'll show you guys what we are doing. Before I forget, there's where I mounted the Velcro is actually a magnetic clip. So if you have nowhere to clip this microphone on your shirt, you can just magnetize it. Put this magnet behind your shirt and this one in front of your shirt and it works that way too. And the reason why I didn't put the Velcro all the way through is because by putting it on the magnet, I'm able to still keep it inside like that because the case is very limited. The space is very limited. So if you had put Velcro for the helmet all the way down here, it's not going to fit anymore like that. Because this one barely, like, you can hear it like, it's extra tight but it still works but that's the most I can do and so far it's been very secure I also would like to say that I we both use the the wind vent or wind guard whatever you call this little thing here uh, which acts as extra security so that when if and when the velcro fails which I hope it doesn't it will just fall right here and then your chin is covering it so there's no way it's gonna fall off and over here is just my my wired mic I just keep it there for solo motorcycling vlogging deal so on the hero 10 you can actually mount it if you have the media mod or the hero 8 even if you have the media mod you can mount it on the top or on the bottom and either way works it just gets in the way of the power button and also, if it's on your face, like if you're wearing your helmet and the camera is direct, is mounted like on your chin area, then putting it here, there's just too much stuff in your field of vision. But if it's on the side, then at least it's not in your way. So here's the thing that I mentioned. It doesn't really fully insert and I don't want to because I have to remove it so often that I'm afraid I'm going to break it eventually. This is what it looks like mounted on the helmet and as you can see it looks like there's like this big block here on your face <laughs> but you know what it's really nice having it because if Kyle is riding with me then you can also hear his voice instead of just me talking look at this guy oh my god <laughs> wow <laughs> I like zero F <laughs> Yeah, seriously. And it automatically syncs, which is great. Here you can see the blinking lights. I literally just put a Velcro strip where you see there, and right now it's recording and it's on. And it's just Velcroed there. Since there's a lot of space in front of the helmet, it actually works out. But honestly, if I'm riding by myself, I'd rather just use the wired mic, which I already have tucked in inside the helmet. 
because that way there's less bulk on the actual camera that's outside that everybody can see because it is quite heavy uh, I don't know other people might not complain about that but uh, I can feel it because my helmet that helmet that I'm showing you guys is very lightweight and with all the camera gear it's weighing it down like this so might not be uh, what do you call this maybe it's something just to get used to because you know guys on long rides that's gonna be annoying I do like how they say that it's 15 hours battery life so for an all-day affair you can just leave it on that way if you're you, you want to record impromptu you can just turn it on and everything is on so in order to switch the holders for the phone well since I have an Android then I'm using a USB-C you just slide it in here like this that's it and then you connect this to the USB-C port on your phone this is if you want to mount it on a cold shoe I think is what you call it for GoPro or a regular camera and it's the same thing you just slide it in like that what I find is that the actual media mode mounting is really a tight fit for this and it doesn't go all the way in and it's totally fine you just have to be really careful when you're removing it and putting it back in because it might actually either break this clip or break the media mod case so just FYI over here I have a Hero 8 which doesn't have a media mod which I think actually is a better setup even though it looks bulkier it has the cold shoe up here so all I have to do is mount it this way and it slides in easily without being too loose and being too tight and then well this one's supposed to be connected like that so <laughs> I'm just mocking it up for you guys the 3.5 millimeter jack goes into this place where it says output not in the headphone but on the out you put that there and the other one goes into the mic adapter area right here and now you've got the wireless mic hooked up before i forget i want to thank rod from mob city moto this is his channel up top and visit his channel subscribe to his channel he's awesome he helped me find out about this mic and actually about maybe switching to DJI Osmo Action which uh, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it here but long story short I still haven't bought it because it's actually way more expensive than the GoPro Hero 10 and uh, with that said later on I'm actually going to produce a video explaining the problems and solutions for moto blogging with the GoPro Hero 10 since it also has a bunch of issues that need troubleshooting Anyways, I have a clip coming up showing you guys real-time example of using the DJI wireless mic while moto vlogging and walking around and all this stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm taking you guys to this one of my favorite bake shop places slash food places that's uh, Filipino. It's called uh, Goldilocks. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, they're open. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's a heavy door. Sorry. Wow. Oh, we Careful. didn't bring the BMW, so we're carrying all our stuff with us. This is a Filipino bake shop store outside of the Philippines. That's really good. We're going to see if we can find something to eat for lunch here. I can smell it, the sinigang. Yeah, it smells really good. Yeah. Oh, my stomach is growling. Hi. Can I have pork sinigang? For here. Ah, okay. Do you know what you want? Uh, I need some help. Okay, what's, so... What's the thing behind the front one, the one in the middle? Oh, I'll ask her. She's the... An ano po to? Yung nasa gitna, the middle? Mongo. Huh? Ah, ah yung, uh, that's the mongo. It's mongo beans. Okay. Nahihirapan siyang mamili eh. What, what are you? What, what looks what's good? What's the one in the middle over there? Um, beef steak. Beef steak. Yeah, that's beef steak. And this, this one's beef steak. Beef steak. 
Adobo? Oh, that's adobo. Okay, uh, pork adobo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want, Did you want uh, any tocino? No, this uh, this is plenty for lunch. I won't okay. be able to ride after this if we eat so much. So that's empanada. That looks like a mix of something, like a frittata. Yeah. That's on kawale. And then lumpia. And this is shopao, which is basically bun, pork bun. We always buy so much food here. <laughs> Typically, I can cook these foods, but I, I haven't been cooking lately because my arm's been hurting. Carioca. This is the freshest we've ever gotten it. <laughs> it was amazing. Out, out, of the, out of the cooker. You gotta get it fresh early in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Isn't no it? good. Carioca, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a um, sweet rice dessert. Um, it's like a rice puff ball with caramel like a mochi sauce. Almost. Yeah. Look at the mountain that yeah. you can't ride on. <laughs> I know. It's like it's teasing you. It's like ha ha ha. Here I am, and you can't get on me. Okay, guys. That is all I have for the DJI wireless mic testing and product review beginner's guide i guess for moto blogging whatever you want to call it i hope this video is very informative i just showed you bits and pieces of clips here and there as examples that's why sometimes if the transitions don't make sense it's not because i'm trying to make a movie here this video is literally to show you guys how it's been working for me with the moto blog so far it's great I haven't found any issues yet, but also I've just gotten it like last week. So if there is any updates, I will make sure to upload that as well. Feel free to leave questions and comments in the comment section below as always. Ride safe, everybody. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.